This is $40,000 in cash. And this is the front door of a scammer's house. Now, this cash is fake but the scammer is expecting real cash. $40,000 from a victim of a phone scam to be delivered to his front door in a package full of cash. But the scammer doesn't know that he's been set up. We are gonna pose as the courier, go to the scammer's house, and use the visible fake cash to lure him into our trap and confront him face to face. Now, what happened when we actually got there? will blow your mind. It's a lot of fucking money. Though. Everybody's a suspect. I can't fucking grant you that there's money inside. They work now with emergency. What the fuck? He's coming to get the package. We need to make contact with you first. I'm not moving. No fucking way am I moving. Scammers not getting paid today, fuckers. Before we go and catch this scammer red-handed on camera, I'm gonna show you the entire investigation that led up to it so you can know just how much of a piece of shit we're dealing with. It's gonna make your blood boil. Now, why is this scammer expecting $40,000 in cash? And who the hell would fall for this? Unfortunately, a lot of people. The FTC reports almost $6 billion was stolen from Americans in 2021 alone, which is up 70% from the previous year. The scammer we're chasing today runs something called the refund scam. Heavily targeting the elderly, this scam is particularly vile. Here's how it works. The victim receives a fake email pretending to be from a mainstream company such as Amazon or PayPal. It states that the victim was charged for some kind of purchase or auto renewal, and it instructs the victim to call back on the phone number provided in order to dispute the charge and claim their refund. Once the victim calls the number, they're connected to a scammer from a call center based in India. Can you just be next to your computer, ma'am, so I will help you to get canceled. I will yes. provide you a cancellation form. Next, the scammer tells the victim they have to install a remote connection software into their computer so they can connect to the secure server to process their refund. www.anydesk.com So DC over there, download now. But what's really happening is the scammer is gaining complete access and control over the victim's computer. Okay, now the mouse is moving. Yeah, I'm working on your computer. Just give me a moment, ma'am. Then by using some technical smoke and mirrors, they convince the victim that they've been over-refunded by a huge margin. For example, instead of getting a $400 refund, they're made to believe they were given a $40,000 refund. It sounds crazy, but these scammers are professional manipulators and they have a lot of tactics to make this believable. Okay. How much amount you were supposed to get back from us, ma'am? $150? Well, yeah, 149.95. Well, it looks like it's asking me to type my full name. Absolutely correct. It means you are connected right now with the Chase Bank Live server. Make sure you give a dollar sign over there and then your refund, which is 200, okay? Okay, so dollar sign, a dollar sign and then 200. Okay, I want you to check everything, the information which you have given over there. Oh, wait a minute. It says 20... No, it says twenty thousand dollars. So my type two hundred, but it says twenty thousand. Oh my God! You are not supposed to put that much of money over there, like twenty thousand dollars. Well, no, I'm pretty sure I type two hundred period zero zero. That's what's confusing me. Might be you have pressed the zero much longer. That's the reason. Um, I'm gonna be in a very big trouble. You know that, ma'am. Uh, if you will receive that money in your account, I'm gonna be in a very big trouble. Sometimes they'll alter the HTML of the victim's bank webpage in order to show a refund, even though it's not really there. Well, I can see already online transfer from Chase Bank Live server, wire transfer for $20,000. Oh my goodness. Oh Jesus, mom, mom, oh I'm goodness. gonna be in a very big trouble. And other times they'll even go as far as to make a real bank transfer between two of the victim's bank accounts so that a real deposit will actually show. Remember, most of the victims of this scam are older and not tech savvy. And through pressure and manipulation, they make the victim believe it was their fault. I told you to put $200, not $20,000, ma'am. This is a very huge mistake which you have done over there. And must return this money to the company immediately or else face criminal charges. You have to give me that money back which you have received. Now, 
once the scammers have a victim on the hook this far, oftentimes they'll bring in a high pressure closer to come in. All right, good morning. The call has been transferred right now to the finance team. You were speaking with uh, Sean Higgins. How are you doing today? And pressure the victim to send that money immediately. How far is your bank branch? Takes about 20 minutes to drive. They'll usually pitch for some kind of wire transfer, but in many cases, they instruct the victim to withdraw the cash from their bank, pack it in a box, and mail it. You can just simply go to the bank and withdraw the cash. Don't make any blank space. Just duct tape it from the every corner, okay? I will give you one address of my finance department, all right? A UPS store. Do you know any UPS store nearby you, ma'am? Now, you might be wondering, if the victim is in the United States, but the scammer is in India, there's no way a package of cash would make it over the border. And you're right. And that's where a money mule comes in. A money mule is a third party that works in conjunction with the scammer to get the money from place A to place B. In the case of the refund scam, you have somebody here in the United States that's working in conjunction with the Indian scam call center. Somebody here that has an address that can receive packages. They'll receive the money locally here in the States, They'll take a commission and then deposit and transfer the remainder of the stolen money to the head honcho's bank account in India. Now this is the cool part. This is where scam baiters come in. We pretend to be innocent victims and we allow the scammers to take us down their list of to-dos. Listen and adopt. First of all, it wastes their time so they can't spend that time scamming real victims. Don't make any jokes now, okay? It also raises awareness in videos like this so more people can learn the red flags to look for. And thirdly, for us at Trilogy Media, it identifies the scammer money mules and their addresses so we can show up in person confront them and shame them publicly for stealing from our elderly and plaguing our society. Now there is absolutely no way we could do this alone, which is why we are eternally grateful for the support of our squad and companies like Surfshark that sponsor videos like this one. We use Surfshark's VPN here at Trilogy Media so that we can browse the internet securely and keep our IP address and location private. No matter how many devices you have in your family, one single subscription with Surfshark will connect all of them to the internet securely with their VPN. And with the ability to change your virtual location anytime you want, you can unlock tons of content online that would otherwise be geo-restricted to you. Browse the internet more securely by getting Surfshark VPN today. There's a link to Surfshark in the description of this video video, and that link is personalized to Trilogy so that they know Trilogy sent you. So by clicking that and getting Surfshark, not only are you supporting our channel, but you're going to get a massive discount. Especially right now through the holidays up until December 31st, they're offering 85% off the price of Surfshark plus three months for free on top of that. But you got to use our link in the description below and promo code Trilogy. Click the link below, get Surfshark and secure your online life as soon as possible. Now we're about to head over to the scammer's house and deliver our bait package, but massive credit where credit is due, the scammer we're hunting today was discovered and baited by our friends Ray and Chappie from the YouTube channel Modder Paul Scam Baits and their organization Scam Pond. Now I'm somewhat tech savvy, but I am nowhere near the mastery of Ray and Chappie when it comes to technical domination. And I have no idea when these two sleep because they scam bait seemingly 24 seven. They make videos, live streams, they hack call center computers, expose mules, and they do a tremendous amount of work interacting with scam victims by stopping scams before their completion and helping victims after they've been scammed. They really are changing lives and we are honored to be working with them on this operation and many more to come in the future. So make sure you go subscribe to Modder Paul Scam Baits on YouTube and watch his version of this video, which is dropping on the same day. Somebody that I knew since childhood and was like a second aunt kind of to me. She wound up getting early onset dementia in her 70s and she was in an assisted living home. Her husband had passed away, her daughter had passed away, and she was living on a fixed income. I went to visit her one day and bring her her favorite flower and when I got to her room, she had taken her life 20 minutes before I got there. And as we called the police and they were going through her text, her phone, she had been scammed out of everything she had. And she told the scammer that she had early onset dementia. And so she was easily confused. She had confided in him. He told her that if she told any of us that we would lock her up for being crazy. And she felt she had no way out. 
and that's pretty much why I do it. It's, it's in honor of her. Ray and Chappie are pretending to be a victim named Jennifer Clark, who just happens to have a very large inheritance. Jennifer Clark also recently experienced a life-threatening injury, but that didn't stop the scammers from demanding $40,000 in cash from her. They initially wanted an international wire transfer, but with some social engineering, Ray and Chappie told the scammer that a cash delivery would be the only option. I have a safe with 50K, 50, at least 50,000 in there, and I could easily take, you know, 39,500 from it, and then put it in a shoebox or something. You know what I'm saying? Send the picture of the cash, okay, so that um, I can send it to my finance manager. I'm gonna go ahead and round the cash up and my brother should be here, we'll take a pic. Okay, okay, ma'am, take your time. What's extra infuriating about this scam bait is that early on in the scam bait, Modern Paul's character, Jennifer, was only told to send $19,800 for the overpayment. But later on in the scam bait, Jennifer told the scammer that she had recently experienced a car accident and had been in a coma and did not remember what she had to do. The scammer took this opportunity to increase the payout that was demanded from Jennifer and told her she needed to now send almost $40,000 in a package immediately. Make sure you check out Modder Paul's channel for a much more extended version of this scam bait and hear all the ins and outs that the scammer uses to take advantage of Jennifer. Ray has just sent a dummy package through UPS overnight delivery, which allows us to give a tracking number to the scammer so they can see a package coming and they will fully believe they're about to receive a big payday. But instead of cash, they're gonna meet us face to face. Let's go. One of these right here, right here. Yeah, duplex, yeah, one on the right, one on the left. <laughs> Jennifer Clark from Utah is the victim. Well, we can put an envelope. Jennifer Clark. I'm going to, yeah. yeah. Chappie made the first uh, connection as Jennifer. We explained that she was in a car accident and in a coma. Alex said she still owed them 39.5. <laughs> Tried to get us to wire the money. You in coma. You sold me money, bitch. Uh, we blocked everything until they said we could ship cash today. He had us put money in a book and in a box. They said no signature. You're gonna do a signing. Yeah, I need on this a one. Blank yeah. one. Mm -hmm. I think because the hallway, that little entryway is so narrow, if you walk in to the door, I'm gonna be just around the corner so he can't see me, so yeah. I can hear you. Yeah. yeah. And as soon as like you're at that point, then I will round the corner yep. and walk up. Yep. Yes, the fourth. Okay, so, um, Paul Morris. Fuck you, Paul. Blood Chaparovich got his package today, right? Susan Dildovich, she got her dildo today, right? If so Paul Morris is next. <laughs> We have a fucking dry as fuck cookie, dry as Ashton sense of humor, mm. and we have some cash. Okay, pack that shit, seal it, and uh, let's tear it open yeah. a little bit. Yeah. That nervous pee. <laughs> <laughs> Should ask Paul if I can use his bathroom. <laughs> hey Paul, before we're gonna boss I'll you, I'll pay you in we... cookies, but I need your bathroom, bro. <laughs> bro.
three, four, five. One, two, three, five, one, three, three, five. Okay. okay. there and watch for a bit. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually If I'm expecting 40 grand, I'll be watching like a hawk. Well, that's the thing. It's when they were so adamant about no signature required. It is probably because they were trying to, you know, orchestrate around his schedule or something. Who knows? Good job, guys. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Okay. That white car looks a little suspicious. I know. I know. She was. She was. Maybe I go. She stopped. She looked at you. Mm hmm. Huh? Either she's all see. We'll wait. Um, yeah, go with it, those those mm -hmm, trucks. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Five three three five. No, she doesn't do some neighbor. Forty grand cash, nobody home. What the fuck? No, no, no. That's a lot of fucking money. It's like people yearly salary. In one, in one fucking box. Yeah, check with, uh, okay, she just went into 5321. She's unloading, it's like some, uh, some yeah. supplies, Costco and stuff. You know, what worries me is there's a message on this tracking that says if you prefer to pick up your package at an eligible facility, select delivery options to make arrangements. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's not good. We don't need that. Mm -hmm. Remember that package on Francisco with a kid when it's got redirected? The one? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Which I, I don't understand how that's allowed. Like, how a person, the receiver, person who's not the sender can yeah, make a change can go to make the a route. Change. That's, that's another loophole in a, in a system of mm -hmm. fucking money laundering. Yeah, I would love to redirect. Who the fuck are you? I'm just, you know, I'm just criminal. Okay, cool. We're gonna redirect it. Yo, Chappy, it's me. Yeah, it's Art. Art National here. Hey. We just were on the phone with a different guy than the one we've been dealing with. And we told him that delivery is trying to be made and nobody's answering the door. Okay. And then he, he said, why is it signature required? And we had to make it signature required, and we told him that when we sent you the tracking. Okay. And now he's saying, um, can't you just tell the guy to leave it on the porch? And I told Ray, tell him, no, that you're not leaving 40 grand on a friggin' porch. Yeah, exactly. I, there's two ways we could do it. Uh, if you can get him to agree to send somebody, or like a phone yeah. number, maybe a phone number that we can call pretending to be delivering, 
or we could leave it on the porch and okay. just watch and see what happens, you know? Well, that was the other thing, and I, I feel horrible that you guys are all the way out there and they're doing this, but no, I, this, I mean, you can't this is, it. A scammer, yes. This is all part of the journey. This happens all the time. And then maybe we can try to push them like, hey, it's signature required, it's gonna be another attempt, but uh, somebody have to, somebody have to yeah, uh, like, pick like, up that cash. Like, say something like the, the, the driver said he can loop back around and try again, but there's gotta be somebody there. Okay, all right, let's do it right now. All right, okay. cool, thanks. I mean, I'd love to think we could just put it by that tree and wait, but it might not happen for six hours. Yeah, yeah. Not that they would leave 40 grand on the porch for six hours, but who the fuck knows? Did anyone see which building she came out of? Yeah, from the garage, that's where the letter is. The Tesla just pulled out of the yeah, next yeah. Day. Tesla was yeah next day. No, we dropping like by the tree, you know. Yeah, no, so I can see it mm -hmm. just leaning up to see if somebody tree. will walk from inside to pick up, mm -hmm. or somebody come from outside. Yeah, because the neighbor could come and grab it, and we no, would never see it. Exactly. Or if she's eyeing it, you know, she yeah. can grab it, but she can't see you come from this. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. She looks like she's waiting for something, dude. She's just pacing around. Well, it would be interesting if UPS would show up, and then we know for sure if she's been looking for something. <laughs> it is very suspicious that she's just pacing right there. Mm-hmm. I got eyes on her. She's on the phone right there. She's talking to somebody. She is? Her lips keep moving, yeah. I'm zoomed in on her face. You see that? You see her? She's t she's talking. Mm. She's watching us, man. She's watching us. Us? Yeah. Ooh, UPS. No fucking way. UPS babies, come on, come on, come on. Look losses. Where are they? I'll turn them on. Yeah. Let's do it. Can I have those papers? Yeah. Here, drop this mic. That's Arch. Turn that on and go. Oh, oh yeah, sure. sure. No problem. Appreciate you. You too. Yeah, boy. Let's go. Wait until you're gonna go knock on the door. Yeah, but I want to see if someone answers the door. Let's go around. Yeah, and stay from the other side. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh. He just dropped it off. Okay. Can we can we talk to you for a second? Sure. So we you see that package that you just dropped it off? Mm -hmm. So we send that package. So well, it's, we track down scammers and look for like money fraud and stuff, so that's what that delivery was. It's supposed but to be. But that's supposed to be signature required, no? no. Really? Okay. We send us a signature required, and it's supposed to be thirty-nine thousand five hundred dollars cash for vic uh, from um, from a victim to a cash mill, and we, that's how we try. So we're like skin baiting, yeah. skin baiter uh, YouTube channel. Well, let, let's just leave it there then, and then that we can, you know. Oh, well, yeah. Okay, because yeah, I thought it was signature required, but anyway, we okay. made actually request signature required. Got it. Cool. Okay. Yeah, it was not required. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. It won't well. let me stop completing it before I get a signature. Got it. Okay. Uh, okay. Appreciate your time. Uh-huh. I have an idea. I have an idea. Wait for him. What's that? There was one this morning as well. Wow. Yeah, this guy is receiving money from those overseas uh, refund scams. Yeah. So he's a money mule. So we're, we have a YouTube channel. We, we are journalists. We, tra we trace him down. So um, we want to see who's going to pick that. Yeah, uh, I knocked on the door earlier. Nobody, no, nobody answered. Oh, he's on because that package is gone. I delivered it this morning. 
Really? Is there any chance we can move it from where it is to the tree so we Once can see it? There, you guys can do whatever you want with it. I okay. no longer own it. Copy. Yep. Copy that. Thank you. Appreciate it. You guys have a good day. Uh -huh. You too. You too. No, hold on. Yeah. No, um, move um, it. Yep, and let's go in the car. It's a cache. No, but leave it by the tree. Leave it by I the know. tree. No, we say it's a different it's a, package. It's a different, it's it's a different package. It's somebody else's cache inside. Okay. Look at the way it's back. Yeah, but also we can't take that. That's a federal offense. So leave it by the tree and we'll see who gets it. It's another one. There is. Look is there a return address tape. on it? Is there a return address on it? Yeah, can you take a picture of that address? Oh, Patricia. Got it? Just for our records, I just we can call her. Dude, we cannot make that happen. This is cash inside. I know. We can save victim. No, I know, but, but we need we need to see who we can't open it. We gotta see who takes it. That's our guy. It's fucked up. Y'all even knows how much is in there. Oh my god. Who knows, dude? You think? I think he can pick up. I've been filming him since uh, yeah. he got on the phone immediately when you guys started talking to the UPS guy. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's... Dude. Okay, let's go in the car. Yeah. Yeah, I have an idea. I can fucking guarantee you he's the one who actually pick up the package at yeah, he's, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna, yep, yeah. I think I'm gonna ready to run. So this guy here, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, he showed up immediately when uh, when it's... Yeah. Okay. Well, let's keep an eye on it. Wait for him to grab it. Dude, that's cash. I can see it. It's... It's... It's, it's mm -hmm. somebody else victim money. I know, I know. As badly as I want to do something... It's okay. We have I mean, to... We can get the guy to open it in front of us. And then we can call the police for real. Like with a real crime. Dude, I think we spooked that guy. Okay, guys, keep going. That's why we eye. need to get in the car so you just don't look so suspicious. No, 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 I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna see, like, I'm gonna go lead. I'm gonna see what is that fuck face is going. Um, keep your, your yeah, glasses on, Yeah, I know, right? I know. You keep an eye on him from this side. Can I'm I check the phone around. real quick, uh, the glasses real quick? I just wanna make sure, please. He came from that place and I wanna... Yeah, you're good. Yeah, I wanna go around the building. Okay. Dude, I so I wasn't even filming you guys when uh, you were talking to the UPS guy. That guy drew my attention. It was, it was just oh weird. yeah. And he was well, he was at that complex down there, just watching up this way. And then I watched him take out his phone. Wow. And then he just started pacing. He walked all the way into yeah, here. That's the that's him. And fucking took all the Are you delivering something? Yeah, I'm looking for some address, but may maybe it's not in this city. So I just contact my uh, customer. So what, what happened? I thought you you, you guys confused <laughs> something. No, yeah, no, I thought like, because some, are you picking up or are you delivering? Delivering. So what, what, right. what happened? No, I thought like you picking up because we're waiting for somebody who's supposed to get something. So I thought you want to take one who's going to... I thought you for I pickup. You look, you're also looking for some. Yeah, no, 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 no. Because I the first time here, so just for yeah, time here. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. Are you delivering? Huh? What are you delivering? For we. Uh, have you? It's a like Chinese, uh, grocery. Uh, yeah. <laughs> got it. All right. Hey, appreciate you, man. If even if we don't find the guy. I have an idea. No, I already talked to this guy. You did? He's, yeah. He said that he's a, it's a for Chinese food delivery from the grocery store. Uh -huh. So he was looking, he was like, I'm actually, uh, it's not here. 
I don't want to miss this package. There is money that... No, I think um, even if we don't find the guy, we can call the cops. Yeah. Thank you want it here? Both. Yeah, I need a number. 708. And your name? Patricia. Hello? Yes. Hi, is this Patricia? Yes. Hi, Patricia. My name is Ashton. I work for a company called Trilogy Media who hunts down online scams. Did you send cash in a box to an address in Newark, California? I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, well, and I don't know if maybe you were told not to say anything, but uh, just so you know, we are at this house because we follow these scammers, these refund scammers. You know, they pretend to be PayPal and Amazon. And we are outside the house because we ourselves sent a bait package so we can confront the scammer. And I just saw them drop off a package with your name on it to the same house. And I have a feeling that there's cash inside. And we're here to try to help you. We can help you get that cash back. Uh, but you got to tell me what's going on because uh, otherwise you're never going to see this again. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't understand. Did you mail a package? To to for computer I services. To Paul Morris. To a Paul no. Paul Morris. Could you could you t give me your name again, please? Ashton A S H T O N, and the company is called Trilogy Media. We fight scammers online and confront them. And you, if you did send a package, you're being scammed, hun. And I know that they probably told you not to say anything to anybody else. That's because they're scamming you. So. I, don't, I know this is weird and confusing, but if you sent a package, you got to tell me because I can help you get whatever's inside of it back. I bet you put a lot of money in there for a refund okay. or some kind of computer support. Uh, tell me again, the audio is, is really very poor, which is, I, I'm, I'm hearing, but it's crackling. I'm sorry. Tell I'm sorry. No worries. I'll, I'll explain again as, slowly. So we hunt scammers online. That's what we do. We chase scammers and confront them, okay? And there is a man named Paul Morris who is a scammer, he's a money mule here in California, and there is a package on his doorstep that came from you, and I suspect that there's money inside of it. Does that sound familiar? Um, not really, no. Because it's got your name on it, and it's wrapped up, it looks like there's cash inside. Were you, were you in contact with anyone from PayPal or Amazon in the last few days? Uh, PayPal or Amazon? No, uh, Amazon, yes. And what did and Ashton? What What is your last name again? My last name is Bingham. B I N G H A M. Did those Amazon people instruct you to send anything to somebody in California? Uh, no, no. So you haven't sent any packages in the last twenty-four hours. You know, um, Ashton, my other phone is ringing here. Can you? Can I get back to you, please? Do you have a, a number or something that I can call you back on? My other line is ringing. Sure, you can call me back on this number, but I, I urge you to do it quickly because your money is sitting on the porch and I can do something about it, but I need you to talk to me about it. So call me back as soon as you can. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. You. The scammer's in her head. Yeah, yep. she's call the scammer. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. The fuck? That means she's going to alert the scammer that... Yep, that she will. Yep. yep. She's going to say somebody said that the, their, the package is there. Should I just go park right in front of the garage? Yeah, sure. You know, yeah. like, and just in case. There's no, there's really no more hiding. Yeah. The yeah. package is yeah. already there. Yeah. If anyone grabs it, they're guilty. I don't think anyone's going to come out of that house, though. Right. Shit. You grab that. Yeah, but anyone that walks up at all. Right. Yeah, blue and yellow box. Dude, dude, She's look at this. Duct tape. Yeah. She's got, to, she's got to come out of this, dude. She's got to fucking fess up. So make sure you tell her she's not in trouble. Fuck. You know how many times we were so close to, to get another package sent to the same address? Kim stayed, remember? He was like, yeah, there is another six, eight, yeah. Yeah, golly knows how much is in that box, dude. We need to call her back. We need to call her back because she's getting right now brainwashed again by, by scammers. Oh, let me text her a picture of it. She said, I did, I did I talk know. to Amazon. Mm -hmm. She don't want to admit, but she admitted already mm -hmm. by saying this. And this dude, he was like, oh yeah, no, I already dropped off one package this morning. So they've been using this address. Wait, that's the second? Yeah, 
Yeah, that's his second time. Yeah. So somebody already picked up. Yes. Yes. So that's he, what he said. He said either they're home or someone came and grabbed it. Yep. He said it's my second time coming this morning. Uh, they using this address. They're getting a shit ton of money. They're getting money hand over fucking fist. Patricia. Yeah. Hello, Patricia. Yes, is it, this is Ashton. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, Ashton, I'm very, very sorry um, that I uh, hung up on you, but but it is correct. I was being scammed. I was being threatened, and, and there is money in that package. If you can help me, I would much appreciate it. Yes, those, th honey, uh, those scammers, are. they pretend to be Amazon, and they tell you that you have to owe them a bunch of money back, and then they make you send them large amounts of money. May, may I ask how much you how sent? Much, how much is inside? Um, I'd rather not tell you, but it was a large amount. Okay. Well, here's here's where we're at right now. This the package hasn't been collected by the scammer, but we are literally sitting in front of his house and the package is on the ground. If we take it, I mean, technically we're committing a federal offense. So I'm not sure what to do right now. I'm thinking maybe we call the police, yeah, so that they can maybe seize it and give it back to you. But um we're we are here in front of the package. We're not going to let it let anyone take it, but Oh, okay, Ashton, I have your number. Yes, okay. all right. Please, if you can stay there, yep. please. Uh-huh. And, and um, I'm going to try and call um, another number that I have that is connected to the police. Okay, okay. okay. And, and they will get back to you in just a minute. Okay. okay? And then, then I will call you back to confirm. May, uh, Patricia, may I ask you, uh, how did you change your mind? Did you Google Ashton uh, Bingham? Hold on, hold on, I'm getting another call. Hang on. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think we should call the police. We're gonna. Hello. We will in a second. Hello. Yes. I'm back on the line with him, and he's telling me um, that they're sitting right in front of a house now, and they won't let anybody take it off the porch. But he wanted to know how much money. I did not tag him. Number two, he said we don't know what to do. The scammer has not come yet. He said, but um, maybe we should call the police. Then he asked me, just when you called, did what made me change my mind? Well, I'm not going to reveal, you know, that I checked with you. It's a scam. Yes. Yes, uh, it's it's Patricia back again. Um, thank you so very very much for doing this. God bless you. Um, Patricia, can yeah. I say something? Yes. I hear you talking to the scammer. That is the guy scamming you right now. No, it isn't. Yes, it yes, is. it is. Yes, yes, it is. It is. I. We independent you. journalist. We know exactly what he's doing. You've been brainwashed right now on a phone by the other guy. These are call centers in India, Patricia. They do this all the time and they steal millions of dollars from people. That is not Amazon, hun. They are scamming you. I promise you, I can prove it to you, but do not talk to that guy anymore. He's going to steal everything you have. Yeah, Ashton, I, you know, um... Can you, can you Google us, please? Can you Google our company? Is there a way that you can get that package back to me? I'm going to call the police and I'm going to I'm going to ask them exactly that because if I take it I could be put in jail but I am doing my best to get it back to you but the guy on the phone with you is going to try to get it again he's going to keep stealing from you I swear to god I can prove it to you the guy you're talking to is in India we live in California we do this every day and this guy is brainwashing you he tells you to not tell anybody he tells you that you over refunded and you have to pay the money back he says that there was a fraudulent charge it's a whole scam patricia this is how it works and they're going to steal everything you have ashton I, he's not from india i know that yes he okay? is I, I believe you i believe you about the possibility of a scam okay i understand that but but it clearly is not from India. Yes, he's from India. I guarantee you he's from India. You just, I, literally, I can get on a video chat with you later this week and show you everything. Uh, how, how far are you from internet? Do you have any access to internet? 
Yes, yes, I'm on the computer right now. Go to okay. our, go to our website, trilogymedia.com. You'll see who we are. Okay, can you hang on? Yes. Just a second when I put it in. Okay, yes. Thank you. Just hang on. I want. I, I almost want to get out. I don't want someone to scoop them up and run. No, no, nobody can run. Like we don't want to like scream on the whole neighborhood on the, right, on the speaker. No, I am. I am. It's okay. It's all right. I'm gonna be faster than her. Okay. I Do the have talking. your website up here. Yes, that's us. That's me and Art. The we two, are legit the people. Two, the two people talking to you. So here's what's going to happen, Mat Patricia. If you, I'm going to let you go and I'm going to call the police. I think that's the best way I'm going to get this money back to you, okay? I will call you back very soon, I promise you, okay? Uh, okay, uh, okay. For your, own, right. for your own protection, whatever that guy on the phone tells you, he's a liar and he's going to keep stealing from you. He's manipulating you. Tell her to check her own Amazon. Go to your own Amazon account and check. There's no, there was no charge. It's all fake, hon. All of it is fake. Say that again, please. Go to your own Amazon account. Go to Amazon.com and log in. Whatever he told you happened with the charge didn't happen. It's not real. It's all fake. He's putting on a... It. Okay. All right. I'm going to call the police. I'll call you right back, all right? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Do you think we can get Patricia to FaceTime with her ID and talk to the police officer and say, look... Very possible. Patricia, Very possible. Yeah. Yes. Please don't let this man take my package. Yeah. 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 What? Come on. Now I have a feeling that we spooked the guy. Well, yeah, I mean, he's, he's not going to roll up now with the cops around. Okay. Hi, I need assistance at 5335 Port Salewood Drive in Newark, California. Uh, I am an independent journalist and I track down scammers and I have, uh, I'm sitting outside of a house right now that uh, multiple packages full of cash have been delivered to this money mule. Um, and I have the victim on the phone. Get you over to Newark, please, sir. All right, thanks. What was your name? Ashton Bingham. Newark, good now, what emergency? Yes, hi. My name is Ashton. I am an independent journalist tracking down scammers, and I am parked in front of a house right now where multiple packages of mail fraud have been dropped off with tens of thousands of dollars in them. I have the victim on the phone. I'm trying to save her. I'm trying to recover her funds, but I can't take this package legally. Um, the scammer lives in this house and is waiting to get these boxes. I, I really need someone to help. There's $40,000 in it uh, that was stolen from this woman, and I'm sitting out front here needing assistance. What kind of car are you in? I am in a uh, Chevy Suburban Gray. And what company are you with? Trilogy Media. Are you parked away from the residence? Nope, I'm right in front of it. We didn't want that this package will get away from it, so we can contact you away from there. I'm not taking my eyes off this package for this lady. There's forty thousand dollars, or who, uh, or maybe more. So I, I need someone to just show up okay, right now. So how do we contact this woman? I can. I have her phone number, but I need someone to show up here so I can explain what's going on. Otherwise, I mean, this is this is felony well, mail fraud. Sir, sir, we generally don't want to do it right in front of the target address. Is there a way you can move away from it a few houses down so we can speak with you? I don't have any other place I can go that's within eyeshot of this house. Maybe I can stay here and you can go and talk to them and explain so I can keep... Well, no, yeah. I can explain it. I mean, sure, if they want to pull around the corner, I can go do it. But, I mean, I, I just need someone to help me because if someone takes this package, it's... That's it. We'll never she, be she gonna lose. Hey, sir, well, we have to, sir, again, we don't even know who you are, so we're not going to let you take a package that we doesn't know belong to you. It may belong to that house. We don't know. So we need to make contact with you first is what I'm trying to so say. So then send somebody so I can tell them what's going on. Sir, all I'm asking is if you can move away from the residence so we can. Sure, fine. I'll move away from the residence. I'm at 5335 Port Salewood. Please send somebody right now. Wow. Are you fucking so we immediately fucking criminals. Just hung up. Stay right here. Yeah. Don't I'm not moving. No fucking way am I moving. I have no legal requirement to move. They can lick me. Hi, Patricia, comma, cops are on the way, period. I will try to maybe FaceTime you so you can show them who you are and perhaps give me permission to release the package to them. I'm going to do my best here. Yeah, at the very least, maybe they could just take it in as evidence. Uh, uh, yeah, I, they take it. I don't care. I just don't want to leave yep, left on, right, on yep. the doorstep here. Yep. How are you doing, officer? Thank you so much for coming. Yes. 
Well, we have something juicy for you. Okay, what's going on? How you doing? Okay, my name is Art. This is my business partner, Ashton. Uh, we, um, we're Trilogy Media, so we company who actually chase and track scammers. Okay, scammers. Yeah, please explain what we have in the approach right now. So, uh, the way the scam you. works, you know, those Indian call centers that say, you know, you got, you got a, your PayPal account's hacked and stuff. Right, right. So the way that scam works is they target elderly people and then they convince them that they were over refunded and then they have to send money to an address to you know, pay them. It's just all a big scam. It's a way of getting tens of thousands of dollars. So what we do is we scam bait, get the addresses, we send an empty package, and then we confront the mule who's picking it up and try to expose their operation. Okay. What, what today is different, the brown box is ours, but the one next to it is a real victim has 25 grand in it. And I had the victim on the phone and she knows she's been scammed and she's pleading she's to like, get her money you, back. Where's the victim at? I don't She's know where she Illinois. lives. She's in Illinois. She mailed it here. She mailed but it. But I can get it on FaceTime. When okay. UPS truck showed up, he was like, that's my second delivery. So this address is using for money laundering, right? Okay, so a, a guy named Paul Morris. I have all, the, I have all of this information. The suspect lives here and they're getting the package delivered to them. It's Actually, either, they either live here or they just or pick them up here. Yeah. yeah. We, because we, knocked, we saw Cash no Mule showed up as soon as UPS showed up. Uh, Asian guy showed up with a package and he like saw us. He got spooked and sometimes he immediately called somebody. Sometimes they'll send him to empty houses or to Airbnbs gotcha. and then to pick him yeah. up. So, but so, that, that yellow box has 25 grand full in of it cash. that belongs to an old lady named Patricia that was scammed by an Indian call full center. Surprise. And we are trying to help her, but I, I don't want to commit a felony. So I, please help me figure out. So who are you guys working Trilogy Media. We, that's our company, Trilogy Media. We're the one who we're actually... We're all over the news, TV, we have YouTube. We, we educate have... people on, on Dr. Oz. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're national television. We educate people how not to fall for scams. Okay. And that's we how do we do confrontations like this all the time. It's kind of all part of our yeah. channel. Yeah, yeah, you absolutely. can have it. Appreciate yeah, it. and this okay. is so. What do you, what's your game? What's your like goal today? Okay, I w here's what I would like. I would like you tell me whatever extent this is possible. But that box right there, if I can get the lady's name is on the return address, if I can get her on the phone with her ID and get her to consent that we can take the box, mm -hmm. oh, that would be oh, great. Twenty-five grand cash. Yes, even more. She don't want to even say the uh, right. No, she texted me. Oh, she, she texted me. Twenty-five grand. I okay. asked her. Okay, it's yes. confirmed. Okay, yes. so she was on the phone with the scammer saying, "Do not let these people pick up." Now the scammer thinks the brown one has forty thousand in it because we sent it. We tell him, "Okay, we'll send it to you," and then we send an empty box, and then when it shows up, we confront. I show up. Kind of a thing door, we do over and over. But this is the first time we've ever had a real victim's thing show up at the same time. Okay. What All can right. we do, guys? Um, can I just see you get your guys? Yeah, idea here we go. Quick? Yeah, sure. We just don't want to, that's why we parked the car. We like, didn't want to, we didn't want to lose this package. Yeah. Help me understand yeah. how did this happen? How did we end up here? Okay. So we were scam baiting. Okay. We, by the scammers, gave us this address, send 40K to Paul. So we did that. So this person here is a person that scams people. The recipient is, whether or not they live in this building, I don't know, but it was sent to 5335. Okay. Uh, after being, hold on. And so we show up to confront who's gonna pick up the package, but it's always empty because we don't actually send real cash. Yeah. But when UPS came and dropped off our package, he dropped off a second one. And we could tell that they wrap it in duct tape because that's what they tell you to do so they won't see the cash in the scanners. Mm -hmm. So, and then we called the lady with her return address and she confirmed. That it's a victim. Yes. yes, and I called her and I said, did you send a package to Paul? And she's like, yes. I'm like, how much money is in it? She's like, $25,500. I think. How did this person meet Paul? She, she was scammed. So you get those robocalls yeah. from India or whatever yeah. saying, you know, your PayPal account's hacked. You need to call us back. They Before remote connect you to your computer account. and they convince you that you need to send money to fix your hacking or whatever it is. Right. So that's, it's very kind of multi-step. you guys, and so that the victim. We're pretending to be victims. So when we. No, but the victim uh, is. Paying for your services or you No, I only talked to her for the first time five minutes ago. Okay. We literally, this is accident. This is total accident. First of all, you're trying to... I'm trying to help this lady. Yeah, yeah. And then also hers. I don't no, care about ours. I don't care. No, 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 it's no. a dummy box. Yeah. There's the nothing in ours. That, but the yellow and blue one has so this, this lady, one, old lady's money in it. There is nothing inside. We you send this one. On yeah, sure. Patricia. I can get her on FaceTime. She can show her your ID. This box full of cash. And this is Patricia and her phone number. So this is real money. This is our dummy box when we usually trying to see who is a cash mule. That's the address when we knock on the door, nobody answered the door. Okay. But when UPS truck showed up and we, told, and we told him about the box, he said that's my second delivery today. So all boxes Are coming to from the United house. States coming to this address. Wire fraud, money fraud, okay. mail fraud, all of it. Just for yeah. your guys' investigation, do you think that this is like a suspect address or just a purely to be a, honest with you i think they're using empty unit because as soon as UPS showed up dude came to pick up the packages it, we what haven't was he, what was he in what kind of vehicle was he in a ups vehicle 
No, just no. Like a, it was just someone we suspected. We, we can't confirm it was him kind or not. Of, it was like a box oh, sedan or what was it? Oh, he, no, he, he was walking. He was on, bag. Yeah. He was on foot with a bag. Brown bag. Okay. Yeah. It's usually That's one of two things. It's either an empty house or an Airbnb, yeah, in which sense. case, or but if there is a tenant here, then they're guilty of this. I have to check, yeah. check rooms for that name. Oh, I, we have a take us back to the anyway. station, then See that that's our problem solved, five, right? Port cell if, we, if you oh can set God. it back yeah. to her, hell yeah. It means yeah. criminals that, that cash mules. It means can Yeah, I exactly. can get her on the phone. She, she, can, she can authorize us to open it, maybe, yeah. and you can see that what I'm talking so about is cash. you can be a witness it. what there is a money inside. Let me, come, let me FaceTime her. And she can like show your ID. I know or it's complicated, but this right. is literally what we. That's what like we almost been the doing. Scams have so many steps, you know, yeah. that they make it complicated oh, yeah. on purpose. Well, yeah. It, yeah. So then you can't track Hello. them. Hi, Patricia. This yeah. is Ashton. Yeah. Hi. Thank, thank you again. You're, so very much. you're welcome. They want to see my ID. I, I'll have them tell you, but this is your box right here. Okay, correct. And so we're trying to get it back for you. Uh, cops How are here. She knows a scam. She obviously sent the money. No, because we called her. Oh, you called her. We called her. Yeah. We, we, we updated her. Yeah, and, yeah, so. She didn't know. And after yeah. she said, no, everything is fine. Because the scammers tell you not to say anything to anybody. She wasn't on the phone so with the scammer. They, 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 they manipulated her. her to do this, so. What was the funds for? Why, why is she paying them? So, uh, they typically what they do is they get in your computer and then they process a refund, but they do too much. Yeah. It's just it's just all you want her to pay that back. exactly. Yeah. It's a refund scam. So. So she was like, did she cash a fake check or something or a check? No, she went to the bank, pulled the cash out, and sent it in the box. Yeah. No, but they usually I've seen some where they the scammer sends her a check to her account. Sometimes it's another version of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Do you? So Patricia. Um, can can she send me text me a picture of ID? Yes. Will you? I'm going to give you the police officer's phone number, and if you could text him your ID. Okay, hold on. Let me get it down. Thank you, Patricia. It sounds like this place is a rental. Yeah, rental? That can, makes sense. It's a vacant. Yeah. Yep. So they drop him yeah, off here, you know, and you can te you can tell them that you know it it was a Robert Jones from Amazon yeah. that threatened me. A great that that's the story behind it. You already know that. I don't have to expand on that. Yeah. But but yes, I did send that package being threatened. Yeah. And I can, I will send you a picture of my ID, please. License. Yeah. Yes. Do you can want? You, can you text that? Do you, do you need my number? Yeah, I'll give you. Uh, he'll give you the number right now. Do you have a pen? Who did they tell you to send the box to? Your cash. Paul. Well, I just want to hear her. Yeah. Say it. Sorry. Yes, they told me to send it to Paul Morris at the address where you are. Okay. And what's in that box? Uh, there's cash in the box. Okay. And you're okay with me uh, grabbing it or opening it if I need to? I'd rather not. I'd rather just have you send it to me, but if you have okay. to do it, you have to do it. Okay. All right. Let me see what we what the yeah. what we're gonna do. Okay. He's asking Patricia what you want them to do. Do you want them to take it and send it back to you? Is that what we want here? Um, yes, I think yeah. I mean pray God that it would be safe to come back to me, yes. Patricia, can I ask you a question? You after talking to us and knowing right now there is police involved, we got your cash, you're not talking to the scammer anymore, right? You're not brainwashed, right? He did not tell to do that. No, to, no. Are you, are you, you're right. promising that. We didn't want to send that money back to you and you're going to send him on a different address. No, no, no. Okay. 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 I okay. just want to make sure that this money yeah. not going to get. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, I think he got spooked. He, did you guys didn't get any video of what the guy looked like? Yeah, we got glasses. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. oh yeah. Yeah, he was like, he came from this corner. As soon as the UPS truck pulled over, right? Bugs got dropped off and the UPS guy said, oh, UPS guy said, oh, that's my second already trip this morning. So he did drop off um, this morning, right? And boom, he's coming with a big bag. Yeah, I been yeah, in this business. Give, access to the give you everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I gotta pay your insurance on your mm -hmm. uh, right. yep. card. I don't have that card. It's everything. Yep. Insurance, yeah. Amazon, PayPal, Costco, everything. Your social security numbers at Jeopardy, all that stuff. Uh, but oh. he walks all the way over here, and I, I hold on. He's... Yeah, I got everything. Hey, hon. I was on the phone. Did, did the ID, I mean, did the driver's license come through? I got the backside. I'm, I think the front is still sending, but uh, it should be. If you sent it, it should be here any second. I'm gonna get all your information, then I'm gonna call you from the station, and then uh, I'll have you make a report at your local spot your local PD, and then um, that way it all ties together, okay? Okay, um, let me go back again. Uh, clearly you're gonna call me from the station after you fill out. Yeah, the I'm sure your, your team then, will be able to figure out how to- And, and then you said I yeah, need whatever, to connect my local station. Yeah, you well. need to make a report as well, saying, telling me what happened and then that we found your package. And then um, I'll get figure out how to get it back to you, okay? Okay, so you're- So I'll be in touch with package. you, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and, okay, and your name is? 
Uh, it's uh, Officer Paquette. I can spell it for you. I can show his name badge if you want. Sure. And uh, it's badge number 121. And we're with uh, Newark PD. All right. Yeah, so uh, this is vacant. That's what we thought. Makes yep. sense. Yeah, that's why no one answered. Yep. Okay. I can give, let me get her my the case number. She's, he's going to give you the case number real quick. 376. Yes, and I will text you a photo of my business card. I will call you um, when I get back, maybe say like in within an hour or so. Is that okay? Yeah, I'll call you from my department cell phone, but I'll also send you a photo of my of my business card so you know it's me. Okay, great. Yeah. And you can also call our dispatch if, you, if, you have, if you're hesitant or whatever. Patricia, we're... Um, How much money should be in there? Uh, twenty-four thousand plus. Twenty-four thousand. Okay. Okay. All right. We're gonna. Um, we'll call. We'll call we, you we're later call too. You once when we get back. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very, very, very much. You're welcome. No, that's the least we can do. The least we can do. All right. This is a victory. Okay. okay. All right. We'll we're talk, to, talk you to you soon in the car. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right, cool. Nice job, guys. Like I said, today we have a... Thank yeah. you for coming so fast. Thank yeah, you. Course. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, guys. For, uh, I guess, doing what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in. Somebody have to do it. Somebody's got to do it, so... Yeah. Anyway. yeah. <laughs> hey, don't forget to subscribe to Trilogy, please. Do <laughs> you have one of those, uh, those flyers they have? Yeah, he has a flyer. Uh, yeah, yeah keep go. it. <laughs> yeah, win YouTube. Okay. Right, Thanks, right, gentlemen. Good. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, bye-bye. Thank you. Wow. Dude. Dude! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Wow. Scammers not getting paid today, fuckers! Hey, Asher, this is Austin with the Newark Police Department. Uh, I was just over there with you when we found the package. If you just give me a call back, I'm looking for that video footage of uh, from your Google Glasses. So we can uh, see if we can get that vehicle into our system and track it down. All right, just give me a call or text me on this number. Thanks. Bye. Hello. Hey, Patricia. Hi. Patricia. Hi. Are you doing okay? I'm doing okay. Yeah, I really, you know, it. I mean, you witnessed this so many times, but when it's such a shock and it happens so yes. quickly, you know, you have to have some reflective thoughts afterwards. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, and, and so obviously that's what you go through now. Yeah. But um, the police officer, you know, followed through with, you know, his additional information and, Good. you know, um, thank God to you guys. I mean, I don't know what brought you to that spot at that time, but had I been 30 minutes later, that package could have been gone. And anyway, um, yeah. but the fact that you guys were there, I don't know. That was a gift. Yeah. Well, we you, were there since nine in the morning. You've got a guardian Hi. angel, uh, a guardian angel for sure. But we wanted to call you um, and just now that we're back at the hotel and it's less crazy. Yeah. Um, and we, explain who we are. We just want to get. Yeah. If you um, had any questions about the scam, I, I we know this scam very, very well. You know, we all think you're savvy enough to, to understand when some. But I think there's two things. When it's cyber, you can't you're not you don't have the human contact to know that somebody's being phony, you know, so it, it's more difficult to sort it out. Yeah. But the other thing I think is um, they know who to, who to choose in relationship to the threats to your life. Yes. Yep. Holy cow. You know, I feel like I'm safe and all of a sudden you have to look over your shoulder all the time. Yeah. That's just crazy. They're, they're professional manipulators and they will use whatever they can to get under your skin. People that get scammed sometimes feel shameful and feel guilty about it. But there's yeah. nothing to feel ashamed of because these scammers right. are horrible manipula horrible people and they're good manipulators. So yeah. sharing with the world how you were tricked and you were duped will help other people from, from falling for it. You know, you are really right. I do have a guardian angel. <laughs> yes. There two of you. Yeah, well... We're able to, we're able to do this because of our our, our, our team and our squad yeah, and everything. Our team is everything. We jump into the roof. And I already being so I, happy. I already love you. I want to give you a hug. I know hug exactly. So yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, it's mutual. Nah, yeah. Nah. Seriously, we Patricia, we love you. We'll be in touch soon. Yeah. Um, and uh, if you if you ever need if you ever need anything, we're here. Okay. 
We make our videos as captivating and entertaining as possible in the hopes that you will share it with someone. The more awareness we can spread about the tactics that these scammers use, the more we can chip away at their fraudulent empire. Both Patricia and the scammers are gonna be reading your comments below, so don't forget to drop down after this video and leave some thoughts. And lastly, head over to TrilogyPlus.com if you wanna see an extended and uncensored version of this video. Yes, extended, even longer than this YouTube video. The Trilogy Plus version is over two hours long. It's a movie, alongside hundreds of hours of exclusive content not available anywhere else. And you can try it seven days for free with the Trilogy Plus app on the App Store or Google Play Store, or simply by going to TrilogyPlus.com. Thanks again, as always, for watching. Get ready for some more huge videos dropping in the coming weeks. Hope you're having an amazing holiday season. We love you, and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.